Oh Lord, thou that dwellest in everlastingness, which beholdest from above things in the heaven and in the air, whose throne is inestimable, whose glory may not be comprehended, before whom the host of angels stand with trembling, whose service is conversant in wind and fire, whose word is true and sayings constant, whose commandment is strong and order is fearful, whose look drive up the depths and indignation making the mountains to melt away, which the truth witnesses. Psalm 105. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face of all. Remember his marvelous works he hath done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his own son to Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. And they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. And they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people. He suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved the kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land, he break the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron, until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Sent and loosed him, even the rule of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house, and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure, and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and he increased his people greatly, and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people to deal subtly with his servants. He said to Moses his servant, and Aaron whom he had chosen. They showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood, and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. He spake, Sorts of flies and lice on all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain and flame fun in their land. He smote their vines also and their fig trees and break the trees of their coasts. He spake, and locusts came and caterpillars and that without number and did eat up all the herbs in their land and devour the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land and the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was blind when they departed, but a few of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy promise, and they ran his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness, and gave them the lands of the heathen. And they inherited the labor of the people, that they might observe his statutes, and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, and with earthquake, and great noise, with storm and tempest, and a flame of devouring fire. 
these events happen on the earth, it's not by coincidence. Esau calls it Mother Nature. Things are just happening. Look, these things are happening because the Heavenly Father has given an order to the angels to judge the earth. Okay, send a tornado over here and kill this many people. Order that he's created for the beginning has to be reestablished in the earth. The reset button has to be pressed. And that's exactly what the Lord's going to do. He's going to press the reset button. And he's going to release things on the earth to cleanse the earth. Tsunamis, volcanoes, tornadoes, Leviathan, Bohemoth. Yeah. It's going to get real crazy out here as we get to the return of Yahweh Shah. Apparition. Apparitions. <laughs> Just as it got crazy before we got delivered out of Egypt.